Hi, and welcome to Love is Crafting. Love is Crafting. I'm Tila. And I'm Stanton. And if you're new to our channel, thanks for checking us out. And if you're returning, thanks for the support. What we do here on this channel, we take you through crafting and DIY projects that are real, but not necessarily perfect because love, love isn't, isn't perfect. perfect. We have a goal to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, but we need your help. So would you consider subscribing to the channel? We make new videos every Saturday. And in today's video, we will be showing you a new offset hack, but instead of using an image, we'll be using text. Our last offset hack video, which you can check out here, got such a positive response that we decided to show you an even better version. As most of you may know, Cricut Design Space Offset feature is only available on the desktop version. With this hack, you can do it from a tablet or even a cell phone. But before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Love is crafting. Love is crafting. You want to start by opening up the Fonto app. At the bottom of the screen, you want to go ahead and click the camera button. From there, click plain images. This is going to bring up different background images for you. I usually just select the white one. And then after that, you can adjust the sizing if you want to. But hit the share button at the top right and hit use. After this, you're gonna add your text by clicking the white and then selecting add text. Type out the text that you want and then we can go ahead and choose a font. To select a new font, hit the font at the bottom of the display screen. After you do this, preset default fonts will go ahead and open up or you can upload your own fonts to Fontu as well. Once you've chosen the perfect font, go ahead and click done. Now the font will always default to white so you'll need to change the color by pressing the style button. You'll get this pop up right here and this is where you can choose the font color that you want. I wanted black so I just selected black. To get back to the main canvas just press done in the top right corner. After this you do want to go ahead and select the size button and size up your text. Once you get the sizing the way you want to, it's time to go ahead and create that offset look. In order to do this, you want to select your text and from the options that appear, you're going to select style. From here, you're going to select that middle option, which is stroke. And after you select stroke, you want to go ahead and select the color you want to use to create that offset look. Once you select your color, you'll see your offset look, and then you wanna adjust the width of the stroke to create that shadowing effect or that background outline. You can go up or down, all depending on your preference. Once you have the stroke effect to your liking, you can click done at the type, top right corner to get back to your canvas. That completes the first half of this hack. Now you want to add a new text just like we did before. Select your text which is going to match the same thing that you just did because that first part we did was creating the background image and then this next part is going to be creating the text. Once you have your second text image created, you want to go back and make sure that both of your images, your text images are going to be the same size. So you select your text and then click size and just make sure that the numbers are the same because when we upload to Design Space, we want to make sure that they are the same size so that we can go ahead and fit them on top of each other when we're trying to layer them. Last step is saving the image. To save the image, you're gonna hit the share button at that bottom right hand corner of your screen, and then you're gonna hit save as an image as a PNG. Next, we wanna open up Cricut Design Space to upload the picture we just created. To do this, we wanna select the upload at the bottom in the toolbar section, and then select select from photo library.
select the image that we just created so that we can clean up the background. There's not going to be much cleanup to do here. Um, you're just going to get rid of the background and the space in between the letters. When I'm cleaning up text images, I always find it's easiest to zoom in so that I'm able to select the exact area that I want to have cleaned up. Don't worry if your colors look a little bit off with that stroke effect. You don't have to worry about it because you're gonna cut it out on whatever color you want. So this will be a cut image and not a print and cut image. So don't worry about the colors being a little bit off. If you want it as a print and cut, you want to go ahead and actually upload this up on a desktop computer because then you can select complex image and your colors will come out much closer. Once you have all your text images cleaned up, you want to hit the next button at the top right hand corner and you don't need to make the line smooth or get rid of any speckles um, because we did this in Fonto and it's already a PNG so it's pretty good. Hit next again and then name your, your image. Name your image and again for me I'm doing this as a cut image so um, I selected cut. Save your image and then select it so that you can add it to the canvas. Now that you have it added to the canvas, you want to go ahead and slice up your image so that it's two different parts and you can layer them on top of each other. To do this, we want to use our shape options at the bottom on the toolbar and select square. After you select your square, you're going to unlock it so that we can make it into a rectangle. And size the rectangle appropriately for your text image and so that it's covering it completely. Once you get your rectangle sized appropriately and covering your text, you want to go ahead and select both images, your rectangle and your text image, and then you want to select from the actions um, tab in the toolbar, slice. I didn't have my rectangle completely covering the text like I wanted it to, and so it cut off a little bit of the name at the top. So I just went ahead and hit undo, and then I'm going to go ahead and just move my square around so that it covers it the way that I want to, and then I will re-slice it. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to make the same mistake again, so what I did is I sent the rectangle to the back so I can see exactly where my text was and so I wouldn't cut it off again. Once I got it sliced appropriately, I was able to go ahead and just delete the parts of the images that I didn't need, which is just the gray portions. Now that we're done slicing our image, we have our two pieces to create our offset text. From here, just for visual purposes, I did select the edit in the toolbar and I change the color so that I can layer them and see what it'll look like when I cut it out in vinyl. Lastly, I need to just layer my two images. Um, remember, if something is in the back, you just move it to the front by selecting the edit in the toolbar and then changing it, selecting arrange and then send to the back or send to the front. And then you can just layer your two objects the way that you want to get that perfect offset.
Now that you have your offset the way that you want to, you want to send it to your Cricut to cut out. To do this, you want to hit make it in the top right hand corner. Change your material to the type that you'll be using and there you go. Here's our final project. We cut both pieces out of glitter vinyl and then we layered them. Thank you for watching and remember, love is crafting.